All right, this is Jose Pacheco again with the green leaf pole saw. I'm gonna be replacing the seals that are inside this. It's leaking in this section right here. So what we're gonna do is take this apart, the handle right here, and check the inner tubes from inside. Gotta replace that one. Let's we'll see if we, the other ones. So it's ripped right there? Yes. And it's got the other seals are inside. But I also got to check, make sure these two hoses right here, they got some uh, seals in, in between that hold them together. When they when they heat, they expand. And if they're not ha they don't have those seals in between to hold them in place, then they come out loose from in here and it causes for it to leak. So first thing, just going to pull it out, pull these whole tubes out to make sure that they do have them. Okay. So when you go ahead and take this part off, and you pull your tubes, sometimes you're going to have to use some pliers to pry them off. And you'll be able to pull them. See? They're missing these connectors. They go in between. And they when, when the hydraulic expands and gets hot, these bars, these tubes, they do this. And when they do that, they come out of the seals from in there. And that's why you get a hydraulic leak. So you always got to make sure that it does have these seals that hold it together right in here. Oh, go ahead and pause it. I'll get. So you're going to have to replace these old rings. The other one didn't have it. So it means somebody fixed it at one time, but they didn't put these old rings on it. And with the hydraulic expanding inside because it goes in one out and comes out the other one, it does this to these uh, tubes here. These have to go in like this. Just twist it. Get one really good. And there it is. It's a little tight, so it's good. So he got one right there. Um, it's taking a while to put them on, so we're just gonna pause it so you guys don't have to watch a long video. All right, this is what it's supposed to look like when they're inside and you gotta have these on. You put them on and you twist them, these rubber O-rings, and you place one on each section. Once you have done that, you can slide them back in, you know, you'll be able to notice they got this gap here in between, it's the same distance as here and the, the far end over there. Um, you can pull those screws here and you'll be able to go ahead and, and see it. Pero esto es para que no más noten That's what it looks estos. like. We have already placed them in. Make sure that you put it in and you got to place this piece inside back. So that way when you place it then you can screw it back. Go. Make sure that when you're putting it back that you're looking also at the bottom of your saw. Mm -hmm. This goes to the bottom, all right, this uh, like the chain catch here, so at the same time, got this facing the bottom, all right. Okay. Just go ahead and now, uh, once you put it back together, make sure you line up the little metal, metal plate, plate that's on the bottom, it's got the screw so you can screw it back on, and at the back as well. Once we're done, we'll test it out. Hopefully that's a there it is. Let's see. No me gustado. 